What's up, y'all? It's Mike in the building. Uh, today we are exploring my new creation uh, that I call Naya Facts. It's an artifact-based Naya deck. Uh, there's some powerful cards in here, but there's also some questionable cards, like uh, the build around <laughs> Ingenious Smith. Uh, it's a 1 1 for 1 and a white creature or human artificer. When Ingenious Smith enters the battlefield, look at the top four of your library. You may reveal an artifact card from among them and put it into your hand. And then the rest go on the bottom in a random order. And then uh, second line of text is, whenever one or more artifacts enter the battlefield under your control, put a counter on Ingenious uh, Smith. But that only triggers once per turn, which is kind of a bummer. But it is nice that it draws you a card most of the time. Sometimes I whiff, honestly, but... Um, I, I'm afraid of kind of adding any more artifacts. Um, I mean, maybe there's something obvious, but I feel like I've looked a few times and I don't really want to replace any of these creatures. Like, I probably could run another chariot maybe, but it's legendary. I mean, it does get removed a lot. I only just got uh, a rare wild card, so I, I my decision was easy before because I just didn't have enough. Um, so, because I only have three chariots at the moment. Maybe that's the change that I make and, and add a fourth one. I don't know if people run four chariots in decks. Uh, obviously, it's very strong. Um, if you're not familiar with this card, just pause and read it because it's, it's really good. But, um, I mean, just it gives you three permanents. <laughs> like, that alone is pretty good. So, um, yeah, so I built around Ingenious Smith, which is probably not really the strongest um, thing. But, you know, you have your Goldspan Dragons. You have Ren and Seven. Uh, and so Ren and Seven um, combos nicely with uh, Sika's Chariot uh, with the token that it creates. So you minus three. Um, I, I've had this line a lot where my opponent will board wipe and I'll have either a Ren and Seven in hand or on the battlefield as well as a Chariot. And then I'll minus three attack with the Chariot and then copy the token and I just have a board again. You know, so that's kind of nice. Um, most of these things are either artifacts or produce artifacts, ex with the exception of Ren and Seven, I believe. Um, so, I, I always liked this card. I I've tried to find a good home for it, because it always just feels really random. I think it fits nicely in this deck, honestly. Um, I I've had a lot of trouble getting this off the ground, and, and it's gone through a couple iterations, um, different, different cards and things like that, but, um... I think I've found that starting off with or getting an aggressive start is probably the best strategy for this deck. And then, you know, start applying pressure. And then while that's happening with one or two creatures, excuse me, um, just start getting value. So, like, drop one of these while you're, you know, uh, attacking in. Eventually, you get to your chariots. Um, or, or your gold span dragons. But uh, early early starts, you usually want to see one of these, and then ideally like a, a Skyclaves. So uh, I like to, I mean, really any of these. I guess ideally I like Magda. Because, I don't know, I mean, they, they all kind of do really well, honestly. You, you drop a Magda on turn two, and then turn three, you uh, equip with Moth Skyclaves, you jam in for four. Um, and then usually they either they, they usually just take it, but uh, if they don't, you know, you're probably taking out whatever they've played, and then you you ramp, which is really nice. So um, the other cool thing with Magda is you could play it later when you have a chariot out, and you can crew with Magda, and then Magda will produce a, a treasure token. And the treasure tokens are nice because they'll trigger the Smith. Unfortunately, that only happens once per turn. That that's that really kind of kills the card for me, you know. Uh, it's it's starting to make me wonder if I should remove it, but I kind of like it as a centerpiece, honestly. Um, portable Hole is just a cheap uh, artifact that's uh, also a removal, and it's nice because it, it exiles instead of, uh, you know, allows your opponent to get dies triggers. Um, just efficient instant speed removal here. Uh, the Innkeeper is nice because it gains us a little bit of life along the way. It ramps us. It gets us closer to turn three chariot or turn four uh, dragon. Um, the Mall of the Skyclaves helps us uh, be, you know, really aggressive. 
Uh, it's even not bad on the uh, on the defensive with the first strike. Uh, you know, you don't want to be in a position where you have to use that, but I mean, it's better than not having it. Uh, I only have one copy of this because I was kind of just trying it out. It's another creature that enters and, and gives you um, an artifact to trigger the smith. Uh, and it's, I mean, it's a nice body for three, uh, for three with vigilance. And then if you equip it with uh, maul, that's it's pretty. It's not bad. I'd have to consider adding more, maybe. It's just uh, a little tight now with the slots. Replication Ring has honestly been great. Um, I was struggling with mana, um, I guess, colors a little bit, because you, you get into these double uh, colored pips in the five drop slot, so that's helpful. I've never gotten the, uh, the eight um, replicated rings. Um, but it's not really necessary, honestly. I mean, it, it's just nice having a bit of ramp. And when it enters, it also triggers a Ingenious Smith. Um, this is our big value engine. It keeps us in the game when we're um, getting beat down by another aggro deck. Because this is kind of an aggro mid-range deck. It's kind of weird. It has two modes. Um, and, and this is our, our big card draw outlet besides Smith, which is... Okay, this is way better at drawing his cards. And it gets out of hand once we get more than one out. Um, Goldspan Dragon obviously helps us um, beat down, and it, and it gets us uh, to places where we might be able to play one of these where we otherwise would not have uh, at the end of our turn. Ren and Seven, uh, great in a three-color deck because it, it helps fix uh, mana, especially for like that slot if it's the difference between casting or not casting the Goldspan Dragon. Helps us ramp because uh, you know eventually we start getting um, a handful of cards if we have uh, multiple elixirs out. So it's good to drop a bunch of lands. Um, gives us a big body. Sometimes we can copy it with the chariot. Um, never really ultimate uh, reach the ultimate with this deck, but I don't use this very much because we have a lot of uh, non-land permanents that are not creatures. So. A lot of times it feels bad, but I, I still like having it there as just a emergency switch. Um, uh, if if things get way uh, skewed out of our favor, and it, it's really it's fine because usually like I'll end up with this in the opening hand, and and I don't really have a turn one play, so I'll play it tapped, and then everything else pretty much enters tapped except for this one, but usually you can finagle that. Um, mana has been pretty fine most of the time, especially with the treasure tokens we can make, so um, I, I probably talked enough about this, I guess, so let's uh, get into some games. Um, I think I won all the games I played this morning, but of course now that I'm doing a video I'm going to lose every single one. I also would like to keep uh, better track of whether I'm going first or not, because I, I have streaks where I just get beat four or five games in a row, and then I, you know, I stop playing, and then the next day I'll play and I'll win four or five games in a row. <laughs> Weird. All right, so I think the innkeeper is probably our least favorite out of the three two-drop creatures that we have, but we can play it, and we can ramp into an elixir, I suppose. This isn't the greatest opening hand, but we'll, we'll give it a shot. We don't have a white source, but that's okay. Here I'd probably try and play the smith first, I guess. Just to grow it with the innkeeper. I'm not familiar with this, I don't think. Enters draw two cards and discard two. Okay. Mm. Alright, let's play the smith then. See if we whiff. Alright, so we get to a chariot. Um, a little awkward mana. Maybe I, wonder, maybe I should have played the innkeeper. Right, what is this? This is a 1-2 for 3, human wizard. Comes day is... Badrick. Enters the battlefield instance and sorcery spells. You cast cost X less, where X is his power. Okay. Whenever day becomes night or night becomes day, put a counter on Badrick. That's pretty cool. 
Interesting. I think I'm gonna kill that thing. Let's get uh, a red source. Play the innkeeper. The, the smith will grow. Let's attack. And I'll just take it. Alright, so we'll hold up the uh, removal. Uh, I'm not I'm not sure what's going to happen with Vadric. I, I don't think I've played against this deck before. Alright, deals two damage to any target, target player. Okay, so they're going to loot again. Okay. I think I'm going to try and leave that treasure around if, if I can. I guess they're... Are they looking for land? Did they go first? I don't even remember. Because we can get out a, a Goldspan Dragon next turn. Reaches you control half tap at blue or red. Spend this mana to cast instance. Okay. This is interesting. Um, yeah, no blocks. No thank you. We'll just gain that life back when we play the dragon. Hmm. Could play that. I think I want to get in. Because even if we miss a land drop next turn, we could just seek his chariot or... Uh, drop the elixir. Feels good hitting him for five. I wonder if I should hit Vadric. Hmm. I guess I can keep waiting. As long as they uh, don't remove. If they try to remove Goldspan Dragon, maybe I'll hit it. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I, f I feel like this is probably solid. Draw four cards and discard two cards unless you discard an instant or sorcery. Okay. So what are they gonna look for an answer for this? I mean, they have this. This makes uh, instants and sorceries too cheaper, and they can tap it. I'm gonna get rid of this now. I think that's weird timing, but I mean they haven't played another creature. I mean, maybe they're not very creature heavy. And if that's the case, why not just get this out of the way now? <clears throat> now we can play the chariot. <laughs> close to kind of the uh, situation I was talking about, where if they board wiped, I could still build a board with Ren at 7. The only problem is I didn't have a second green source, but it didn't matter. We were, we were aggressive enough. Alright, 1-0. It's pretty much how the deck works. I feel like there's like cooler synergies. That was just more straightforward. I mean, we, we just did it with two gold span dragons. They did they couldn't do anything about them. So, I mean, that's if if they stick around for you know two turns, especially multiple. Like, what are you what are you supposed to do about that? <laughs> Even if you do remove them, like we just get so much um 
value off of the extra mana. Okay. I have not seen a hand like this. I don't know what to do here. We're playing against Hip Alien. This could work. But if it doesn't, it's... At least we have a turn 2 play. Depending on what the board looks like, we have a turn 3 play. I'm going to roll with it. I, I could see this being a bad keep, obviously, but... Hey, we're going to draw. We're going to draw something. I guess dead draws are like... Like planes. I think we'll be alright. Well, actually, maybe not. We're playing against... Uh, um, an aggro deck. Oof. I foresee us playing gold span and having to block with it. Oh boy. They don't play anything. Whatever. Alright, let's get our Naya colors out. Innkeeper, next turn we can. Gold spam. This could be worse so far. Obviously, no blocks. Ooh, missed a land drop. Okay. Is there a four damage removal in the two drop slot? Gain a life back, jam. We're not going to block with the innkeeper. Okay. Hit their third land drop. Hip alien, that is. Ugh. Alright. Well, if this is how aggressive they're going to be, we're going to be able to do basically the same thing we did last. Um, last game, and just beat him down with, uh, Goldsmans. Ah! <laughs> Hit him with the L1, show him who's boss. I could equip it. So that's kind of pointless, though. Alright, 2-0. So far, this has just been a, uh, showcase of how good Goldsman Dragon is. <laughs> Very good card. Holy smokes. And I, I so far, I mean, the, the blowout games that I've had have been against low-to-the-ground aggro decks. Like, I, I just got demolished by uh, Demir Zombies. <sighs> oh, I meant to mention, um, if you're watching up to this point, I should have said in the beginning of the video, but... Please, please, please help me out with um, my subscriber goals for the end of the year. Um, I revised my 100 subscribers subscriber goal to 50, and I'm at 41. I just need nine more subscribers, and it's very difficult to get them. Maybe it's just because my content is bad. I don't know. Um, maybe I'm like not paying attention to how far away I'm standing from the uh, microphone, and it's frustrating. I like that we have the smith in the opening hand here. <laughs> Probably really all to like about this. We have all our colors. <laughs> Yikes. I'm tempted to just get rid of this now. Yeah, I, I no. Not not really interested in this. I feel like I kind of want to slow them down a little bit. Um, yeah, I need nine more subscribers. Um, there's there's going to be magic content like there usually is. Um, 
Uh, you got um, live music sessions, um, some music theory things. I need to work on doing a little bit more of that. Um, and um, there's uh, financial videos uh, where I talk about uh, financial organization, budgeting, um, expenses, spreadsheets, and things. <laughs> And um, I think I'm going to do a video, maybe right after this, about um, how I worked up to just $10,000 in my Robinhood account. You know, to some people, that, that sounds like chump change, and to other people, that sounds like a lot of money. So I just want to kind of go over what the thought process was, the strategies I used that worked, and then the strategies that I used that, that failed. And, and just... Um, Lay it all out. <clears throat> that, that, that dog emote reminds me of um, Doge. Okay. Sure. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now what do we do? I guess we play Ren and Seven. Now that they've gotten us good and good and mad, let's do that. Let's do this. Let's out the green sauce. Do the classic one two. So we'll minus three create uh, a token with toughness equal to the lands we control. Crew the chariot with it. And we will attack because they just have a 2-2. Two, two. Oh no. Can they make it bigger? Okay. I didn't realize that that did that. Sorry. <laughs> we still have a 5-5. Five, five. And a Planeswalker. Must they have? Yeah, okay. Still ended up with a 5-5. Five, five. Might bust out the... Uh, okay, let's do... An attack? Oh, damn it, I should have played the land. Sorry, y'all. We're still doing fine, but I'm, I'm, I'm making whoopsies here. I, I apologize. Let's get out the uh, smith. Um, whiff, and then we will play the elixir to get a counter on the smith, and then... Yeah. Hopefully we can start drawing cards soon. Hmm, I like this. We've had uh, the right amount of removal, I think, so far. <laughs> Salty as hell. Jaman. Uh, play out Magda. Alright. Now if our life total stays the same, we start drawing stuff, but it doesn't really matter because they're going to scoop. Uh, if they get one creature out. What? Ugh. <laughs> Just goofing around. All right, three no. <clears throat> Thinking maybe one more. <coughs> Excuse me. That's why I'm streaming on a Saturday. I usually work, but I am under the weather, and I did a home test. Um, negative for COVID, and I just uh, literally came back from an appointment to uh, do the PCR test. So I'll find out in a couple of days, but. Do not think it's COVID. I'm bo mostly just congested. <clears throat> just trying to be safe. Mostly, um, um, the protocol through work. It's very annoying. Because I'm vaccinated too, but whatever. Whatever. <clears throat> 
Oh, also, this is uh, the prototype I was talking about in one of those videos for the Ufini Machine sweatshirt. If uh, you like this and you're interested in one, let me know. Okay. We already have a blocker. So Magda is kind of... kind of whack. I like being able to try to get in with Magda early just to create that token, but... Oh, this is a mono-white deck. Mm. Mm. Okay, fine. I don't know. I feel like uh, we just played against a pretty aggressive deck and we were slowing it down early. So, I mean, that's kind of my thought process. It, it worked out, but... Uh, what, do they, what do they take here? Okay. Okay, let's see. Portable hole would be nice. Mall's good. Hmm. All right, might be a first loss. Like I said, we kind of we kind of struggle with um, low to the ground aggressive decks. This is the worst our our life total's been, I think, at all. The uh, whole time. Ugh. Might just be chump blogger. Nah, I gotta keep it around. Okay, that's game. We can play the... What is better here? I think this, because if we survive, we can at least play the chariot and gain life off of the... Um... Oh, I think I could have played the chariot too. Oh yeah, well it does. It it didn't matter. It was a lost cause anyway. That was a brutal game. I'm gonna play one more. Mono white. I'm not gonna play one more because Arena just froze. So three and one, not bad. Um, got to showcase a little bit of what the deck does. I'd like to maybe do another video and um try and try and get more into some of the really interesting board states that I've had in testing it. Um, I just like that it's a little different. It's cool because it uses some of the really strong cards that are in the meta right now, but um, some not so strong or like not so common cards. I'm also, this this deck makes me kind of excited for whatever the uh, next set is, I forget what it's called, um, to just be on the lookout for interesting artifacts because we'll always have artifacts in, in sets and some are terrible, some are really interesting, so. It'll just keep it fun. Uh, but, uh, yeah, let me know what you think of the deck. Let me know uh, if if there were any misplays that I did not point out, because I definitely made a lot of them. Um, let me know what you would change about it. I'm sure there's tons of things that people would change about this deck, but... <clears throat> excuse me. I try to go out of my way to make things a little more different. Like, I don't want to play with a deck that I've seen online and just copy it card for card or look at <clears throat> worlds and, and do, you know, the top tier deck that, you know, six different people bring or something like that. Like I want, I want unique things that may, may lack a little bit in power level, but are fun and, and just, um, uh, just like a little more unique. So, um, with that, uh, help me reach that, that 50, subscriber goal if you liked the video like any of that other content i mentioned magic music finance um, just give me a, a subscribe on the channel and uh, just keep a lookout for new videos thank you enjoy the rest of your day